old school RuneScape. Hardcore Iron Man. One life. One goal. Many challenges await him. Will he survive? So it's been a while since I've actually killed water fiends. I'm not entirely sure how to go about fighting them. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Only has... Only weak to crush. Oh my gosh. All I have for crush is a freaking dragon battle axe or a dragon mace. Yikes. Attack style is magic and magical range as well, so I have to wear something like Dragon Hide. Oh, man, I still don't have a Black D Hide top though. Do they? That's kind of cool. Miss Battle Staff. Um, what? Anyways, um, Hard Clue Scrolls. Hard Clue Scrolls. Hard Clue Scroll. So right. I've been I've been thinking about whether I take the Dragon Mace or the dragon battle axe and it's a pretty tough decision um the mace is one speed higher but the battle axe is 30 strength higher and only five crush higher okay this so accuracy is not too much of a problem oh you get five prayer from the mace that's pretty good so uh also, I've noticed that Void has better uh, magic defense than Black Dehyde. That's something I never knew. Uh, I feel like a big noob thinking about how I used to wear Dehyde on these kind of tasks in RS2. I decided that I'm going to take a quick break to get two extra Orbler levels to unlock Super Strength potions, as well as make some Super Attack potions on the way there. Hey, we got a first fan! Hey, we're we're doing it. Road to Hokage is real. We about to hit 55 herbor to make super strength. Shout out to my boy Glue Stick for subscribing and hanging out, making herbor with me. All right, we got a fat stack of super strength and super attack potions now. So for water fiends, I'm bringing two super strength threes, two super attack threes. A games necklace for teleport in and out, anti-fire shield to run past the dragons, and Excalibur for the special attack into super defense uh, boost, and a bunch of Karen Brown because I have no idea how much damage I'm going to take. I feel like I'm going to take a lot. Oh my god, these things are absolutely destroying me. Oh my gosh, the level 115, why would she assign me these? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so awful. Oh my god, I gotta kill 170 of these. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna burn through all my Karabom. Oh my gosh, the walkbacks. Oh my gosh, look how much damage I'm taking. Oh my god, I can't even get a shield. I don't have any mage shield. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Is it over? Gonna kill one? It's taking a minute to kill one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's still not dying. Okay, I didn't pot. That's, that's, I could have potioned, maybe. Maybe it'd be more accurate, but holy yikes. Okay. These things hurt a lot. This is my second one. I've already burnt through five food, and I'm still low HP. Yo, I am legit, like, concerned about, like, 
if like DCing for like five seconds and just straight up dying to these. I'm 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 getting kind of spooked here. I decided to uh, try coming back with ranged and prayer, the prayer pot, in hopes maybe I'll be able to wait out the aggro timer and then shoot him from across the river, maybe? Oh my god, I hate water fiends. They switched between magic and magic based range, so you can't even really pray against them either. Uh, but I, they seem to be mostly doing range, or at least the one I'm fighting now is. Oh my gosh, I tried to wait out the entire aggro timer, which killed all of my food and a prayer potion just to live here for 10 minutes. So I was like, man, you know, maybe I'll just be able to put it on long range with my crossbow and shoot the dudes, you know, across the river. But, um, that never happened. Uh, oh, oh, we hit it. Oh my gosh, don't. Okay. We're gonna hit. Oh, we got it. We could save spot water fiends. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So it turns out I actually reached this dude on Rapid. I'm not sure what all that running around was earlier. Okay, so it turns out, standing right by this pillar, there's a safe spot. If you put him at the edge of th th that little square sticking out by the water over there. Apparently there's another safe spot over these rocks. You can actually shoot him over the rocks. I didn't realize until just now. And uh, if he's caught right there, it's just far enough away for me to stand right at the edge of the aggro range and shoot him. Oh my gosh, I am so uncomfortable sitting here with 33 food, uh, health, no food, and no one-click teleport. Yikes. Uh, so I messed up, panicked, and then teleported out, and then rehealed. Now I have to wait out the aggro timer for 10 minutes again. Yikes. Okay, but I brought two prayer profit this time. Maybe that'll help. Oh my god, the water feeds. They're not noticing me in this spot. Oh my gosh, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay, he uh, found me eventually. Don't, you can't just uh, speak here. Yeah, yikes. One hour later. I'm finding that the best way to fight the water fiends is to kite them around this pillar right here. You just gotta be really smooth about where you click and then you stand at this uh, max range away and then they'll, they just won't hit you. Since there's a bunch over there, it's easy to just hit them and like run right here and then they'll line up with that pillar. Alright, let's try to make a proper pull here. Aggro. Get him behind, lined up with the pillar. Oh, freaking, that guy's in the way. Okay, don't pick up the vial. And bam. Oh, I got hit at 10 because I waited too long, but you see it. See, it's not attacking me anymore because I'm out of range. Oh my god, we finally got a brimstone key off of these stupid things. <laughs> finally, jeez. This is like the saving grace of doing freaking water frames is hoping for these keys. Oh, I think I've got, got I've got the hang of this now. I've managed to tackle the water fiends. I'm starting to, you know, really feel at peace here. Although, something feels wrong. Something still isn't right. Oh. Oh. I get it. 
I'm not just killing 170 water fiends to do a slayer task. I'm killing 170 water fiends in order to make a YouTube video. Oh no, I see it now. Killing water fiends. Making internet content. It's the same thing. I've got, I've got these content creator skills. I need higher levels. I need items. Gear. Jeez, I was barely able to write a water feed a couple of months to a year ago. Let's see, my YouTubing skills are what, like 50? Most of that gained just from writing. Maybe a 20 in Twitch streaming? Oh, that's a yikes. A 10 on Instagram? Level 5 Twitter, GoFundMe, and Patreon. Oh, at least my philosophy skill is sitting at a fat 92, though. Yeah, are we halfway to 99, boys? You guys can get me better gear. A GoFundMe and stream production is a clear example of that. With better gear and higher stats, I will be less afraid of water fiends as time goes by. I know what needs to be done. The hardcore Iron Man timeline. It's not just about the Iron Man. It's about me. Growing too strong. Ugh, this crippling desire for ranged bonus accuracy is consuming me. No, I need it. I need it. I need it. Ranger boots. Ranger boots. So some uh, bonus water fiend facts. Water fiends are tied at with the least likely freaking things on the Conard list next to Zygomite and Brine Rats. And the maximum you can possibly get is 170. And guess who got 170? Yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. I have decided to go and bank my stuff. Get a get a you know more loot. Oh, I'm sitting here. I got. I'm only halfway through the task. You know. And um. Yeah. And uh, coming back, I've realized that I can just stand in this square and. Even though I'm on the second floor, I the aggro radius is not floor dependent. It's just a square around you, regardless of what floor you're on. I can just, you know, stand here for ten minutes. I don't don't have to waste prayer pots or food. <laughs> I uh, accidentally did a quiz show random event and did uh, reset the NPC aggression timer. Got a steel plate body for it though. Steel plotty for 10 minutes of sitting here. Yeah. This guy stole my water fiend spot. Look at this dude with his freaking dragon mace and his overhead prayers. I bet he's chugging Carol Bond. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy is as decked out as possible. He's got the dragon war hammer, the odium, not the odium one, twisted buckler for the magic defense. Dang, he's big styling. He's still getting hit and has to pray though. <laughs> Ooh, I finally found my first dragon killer. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure the crossbow uh, might be longer range than the dragon, but you know, we'll leave that for him to find that out whether that's true. Ah, uh, look at this dude, he's running from a water fiend. <laughs>
I uh, felt bad for the dude, so I uh, dropped some swordfish on the ground. Maybe he can eat it to kill more water fiends with melee. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> joke's on me. I may have, you know, been wearing the wrong gloves this whole time once I started ranging. Um, so, uh, not talk about that. I decided to come back in the uh, dehyde armor. And with Archer Helm, um, since it has pretty high range defense, it's probably better than Void. And I'm kind of trolling by not wearing it the whole time. And I'm kind of trolling by only having a green top. <laughs> so let's not talk about that. Hey, we finally got our second brimstone key. Many unbearable hours later. Oh, it, 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 it's over. Um, we, we, we made it. Wow. 170 water fiends. Wow. Oh, it's nice to the outside. Sandwich lady could have talked to you. You look hungry to me. I tell you what, have a square sandwich on me. Wow, thanks, sandwich lady. I don't think I have inventory room though. Um, that one? Hope that fills you up. Oh, I'll have a of her. The last thing that we need to do is to just go over the loot. Um, about 151k total. Uh, as an Iron Man, I'm not, I'm not getting all that, but, uh, those uh, 117 water orbs definitely look interesting for crafting experience and the money. Uh, a lot of alka bowls. Um, I really like the snake grass drops. I wish I got more of those, but I only got that. 108 was about four snake grass drops. Um, nothing really that useful. Some interesting runes, not too many of them. And then the brute two brimstone keys. Due to the way you end up fighting them by outranging their uh, multiple ranged attacks, they end up being a lot like skeletal wyverns. So, if you kind of like the idea of skeletal wyverns, these these would be like a low level option. But uh, you probably just want to stick to your slayer level higher <laughs> to kill the more valuable stuff. Okay, Konar, please be merciful, please. Greater demons in the catacombs of Friend. Wow, that sounds like a very normal Slayer task. Got any tips for me? Greater demons are magical creatures, so they are weak to magical attacks. Though not the strongest demon, they are still dangerous. I should look that up. Let's open these keys. One key. Gold ore. 144k? Yeah, that's alright. Hey, this is a message from TZ Internet Guru. I would like to thank you for taking the time to check out a video like this from some random dude on the internet like me. Uh, if you like more, definitely subscribe to my YouTube. If you like me, you you see a lot more of me on my Twitch. Uh, I have a lot, a lot of stuff happening and. Uh, if you just go to my Twitch bio, you'll 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 be pretty informed pretty quick. Las chanclas, todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Agarrar 
entra y me tira entre las piedras de Chipiona, de paro. Y cuando entro en el restaurante, me ve el cocinero con una paellera y a la vez la vente para ella. <risa>